Are you on the market for a power inverter? Well in today's episode we have the Ampeak 2000 watt power inverter and it's most definitely impressive. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Good Tech Cheap. My name is Brad and I'll be the host for today's episode. Starting out, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell if you'd like to receive notifications. Today's episode, we have partnered up with Ampeak to take a look at their 2000 watt power inverter. We have all the links and details located in the description. So I've been interested in getting an inverter for my pickup truck, so what better time than to test this one out, see what it can do, but first, Let's see what's in the box. Let's get this thing out of the box immediately and see what we have. On top, we've got some paperwork, our user manual, and it looks like a quick start guide. Sure is. And then we've got some boxes around the actual inverter. Lift it up, get it out of the plastic. We've got some covers coming off there. That's fine. Wow, this thing's got some weight to it. Definitely heavy duty. On the front, we have our, our plugs, power button, the remote on and off, USB port. We've got a port for the air cooling. Here's two fans in the back, your battery jacks, and the covers. And then, let's see what else we have in the box. The cable is below. On the inner layer of the box, we have other cables. And these are some real thick, heavy duty cables. They've got some weight to them. As well as right here, we have the remote. Then the remote switch. And that is what you get right out of the box with the Ampeak inverter. This thing, 2000 watts, we are about to go test. Up close, this thing is really nice. And I'm really digging having three ports on the front that have continuous 2000 watt power. Now this thing is ideal if you're looking to use a mini fridge, a microwave oven, or even small power tools with a 12 volt battery. And you also have automatic shutdown protection for over voltages, low voltage, short circuits, and overheating. So I have a skill saw out in the shop that I can test this out with. So let's head out there and see how well it performs. So it's wired up to my battery, going into the inverter, and I have a skill saw plugged into it to see if it'll pull it. So let's check it out. If you're wondering if it can actually handle the pull from my skill saw, it most definitely can. I also give the plugs a test with a multimeter to see the output as well as making sure there's no backwards wiring and everything checked out just fine. While the remote switch is also a very handy piece to have while powering on and off this inverter, especially if you have it installed in a hard to reach area. Overall, I am highly pleased with the Ampeak power inverter. It does its job and it's simple to use, so I would highly recommend it to anyone that's looking to get a power source from a power inverter. That being said, don't forget we have all the links and details to the Ampeak power inverter located in the description. If you found this review helpful, then be sure to give it a like and get in those comments and let us know how you could use this power inverter. That is going to be it for today's episode. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next review.